Hey everyone, it's Mod6 coming at you with another Call of Duty mobile video. In this video, we talk about whether or not the DRH is overpowered. It might be. We'll get into the gameplay and you'll have to judge for yourself, but I've got some thoughts. So first, I want to take this chance to say thank you to Hawk's Nest. He tweeted out about my last video, the third in the Noob to Pro series on how to get better at gunfighting. And man, my YouTube blew up. Thanks for the love. I appreciate it. And a compliment from somebody like you is incredible. All of the Hawk's Nest Discord, all of the followers, man. Uh, awesome. Thanks for the love, guys. The matches in this gameplay are from ranked legendary play and you'll see not too shabby with the gun itself at higher levels. Now getting into the DRH. The DRH is actually based on a weapon that's used by Special Operations Command in the US military as well as a bunch of other organizations around the world. That weapon is called the FN SCAR. So what is the FN SCAR? Well FN is the name of the manufacturer. They're a Belgian weapons manufacturing company. SCAR stands for Special Operations Forces Combat Assault Rifle. The light version shoots 5.56 millimeter NATO round and the heavy version shoots 7.62 millimeter NATO round. The low recoil for 7.62 is a really attractive feature. That lower recoil is actually replicated in game in Call of Duty Mobile. If you notice the DRH has a lower recoil and it's a little bit easier to control. Alright now let's get into whether or not I think this gun is absolutely overpowered and right now the answer is just yes. Now the reason I think that there's nothing special really about the DRH as a gun itself in the game but one huge difference from all of the other guns in the game makes it overpowered right now and that is the OTM attachment. Now what is the OTM attachment? The OTM attachment is an attachment on the weapon just like any others but it is a bullet just like the FMJ or full metal jacket attachment that you see on every other rifle and submachine gun in the game. Now the OTM what it does is it adds a 1.2 multiplier to the entire torso of the enemy player as you shoot them. That's the same multiplier as a headshot. And so with a medium firing rate, what that means is that the OTM attachment on the DRH, every round packs a heavy punch, which allows you to down those enemies very, very quickly. So what does that mean? That means that if you shoot the opponent in the torso, that's equivalent to a headshot with every other assault rifle in the game. That's a massive, massive advantage in those short gunfights. Now this is a medium firing rate gun as well. And so what that means is that each round packs so much of a punch that the time to kill is just crazy fast right now. The time to kill with the DRH and the OTM attachment is 315 milliseconds all the way out to 35 meters. Now, as a frame of reference for why 315 milliseconds time to kill at 35 meters is crazy, the M4's time to kill at five meters is 364 milliseconds. So the DRH has a faster time to kill at 35 meters than the M4 has at any range. That's wild. Now, one thing that most people might not realize is that when you're shooting at other players, you only get that multiplier if you hit them in the torso or the head. You don't get that multiplier if you hit them in the hands and arms. And so as they're holding their rifle out in front of them, as they've got the weapon up, those hands and arms are in the way of their torso. So that's going to affect how many times you get that multiplier if you're shooting center mass. Is it probably going to get nerfed in some future patches of the game, future versions of the game next season? Maybe, but right now it's really fun. The attachment is something that's totally new. And for everybody who's really shooting center mass most of the time, this attachment is a huge deal. Check out the rest of this gameplay and let me know in the comments what you think.
All right, that about does it for first impressions on the DRH. It's a cool gun in the game. It's based on a real gun used by US Special Operations. And I'm killing it right now on the ladder with the thing. I mean, I'm playing multiplayer matches, I'm playing on the ranked ladder, and it does great. Feels a little heavy to carry around because I'm used to playing with the RUS, but it's a lot of fun. Again, everybody who came from Hawk's Nest, thanks so much. All the love is fantastic. I'm going to make the best content that I can. And until the next video, Mod 6 out.